And good afternoon. We've got an active Halloween ahead, and that's all associated with that frontal boundary that's crossing the region. That's going to be bringing some strong to severe storms. It's already bringing some snow to parts of Chicago. We may even see some wet snowflakes for early into tomorrow morning. But the biggest threat with this is going to be damaging winds, and we're still going to see a good bit of rain, about one to two inches totaling for today. And we have heavy rain right now, especially for areas north of Pittsburgh towards Beaver. That yellow and orange indication that is heavy to moderate rainfall. Even for areas to our north, Elwood City, Newcastle, Grove City, the rain is not over for you just yet. We have been upped for our severe outlook, looking at a scattered, more numerous storms possible for Pittsburgh. And then where we see that red, that is where an isolated tornado can't be ruled out later on. But we're still going to be dealing with those strong to severe storms. Again, those wind gusts really picking up 40 to 50 miles per hour at times. So today, a great day. You want to download that weather app so you can get all of those alerts in the palm of your hand about one to three o'clock for areas mostly into northern parts of West Virginia, Uniontown, where we could see those damaging winds with those strong to severe storms. We are looking at a wind advisory that starts at five o'clock this evening. That'll go all the way through tomorrow morning until 10 o'clock, and that's for the whole region. So those strong to severe storms bringing those damaging winds, but also could lead to some power outages and even some downed trees. You can see this frontal boundary. Look at that Kansas City 30, 32 Chicago. We're nearly going to be slicing these temperatures that we're dealing with right now in half by tomorrow morning. 70 Latrobe, 67 Denora, 66 right now in Pittsburgh. Still very soggy today. Winds right now just out of the south about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But those wind gusts are going to continue through overnight and very early into tomorrow morning. So this cold front quickly moves out by early tomorrow morning, but you can see that blue popping up a little bit of some wet snowflakes with those temperatures right around the freezing mark. But through the day, we're only going to make it into the mid 40s. We do dry out. We'll have a lot of sunshine. But then our second cold front moves through on Saturday, and that's going to be bringing some possible snow showers. Very light accumulation at that, but look at these lows possible for Sunday morning into the upper 20s. Today, Halloween, we are into the upper 60s, cloudy with rain. So again, just make sure that you do stay weather aware tonight mid 30s look at those wind gusts picking up 40 to 50 miles per hour at times so looking at our five day four seven day forecast we are looking at a very soggy a very dreary halloween with those strong to severe storms by tomorrow low 40s for our highs and temperature is going to be right around that freezing mark even below freezing saturday i know a lot of Areas have moved trick or treat to Saturday. It's going to be dry. It's just going to be chilly, so you're going to need those turtlenecks underneath the costumes. Sunday, we're in the mid 40s, back near 50, but it doesn't look like we're going to see those mid to upper 60s or 70s for a while. Yeah, probably not till no. next spring, actually. <laughs> well, so for tonight, when the kids are going out, I mean, obviously bring the umbrella. Yes. We know it's going to rain, but with the winds, I mean, you kids and parents really need to be aware of possibly branches falling yep. and that kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah, so download the app. Uh, that'll be good. You'll get those alerts in the palm of your hand, but that mm -hmm. wind advisory, it is in effect all the way through tonight, all the way to wow. tomorrow morning. I've been through some pretty nasty Halloween <laughs> trick or treating. <laughs> Got my rain boots on, but this one might be uh, for the records. A little tricky. All right. Thank